Just a few more minutes to go before the start of the uh, first semi-final in the men's 1500 meters. As uh, the lineup and the first four go through from the two semi-finals, plus the two fastest losers. Steve Graham defending the title. A couple of Scots in this one, Alistair Curry and uh, Tom Hanlon. And also going there for England is John Gladwin, who is the three A's champion member of the Belgrave Cup. Peter Bork, Bork of Australia, who was the 800 metres champion four years ago. Position of the first semi-final is as per your program. Steve Cram, gold medalist uh, at this distance in the World Championship, the European Championship, and of course in this championship four years ago and being watched by the Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher. Just been some medical official with her in the red blazer. Peter Heatley is there as well, and of course. Husband Dennis Thatcher, the governor of the Sports Aid Foundation, and who's done so much hard work himself to raise money for preparation training uh, for the teams from England, Scotland, Wales, well, from their home countries. Right, the lineup will be Steve Cram will be right on the inside, Magali of Lesotho will be next, Gilchrist of New Zealand, Curry of Scotland, Hanlon of Scotland, Campbell of Canada, Hugerworth of Canada, Mambasasa of Malawi. Thembu of Swaziland, Peter Bork of Australia, Kirk of Northern Ireland, Gladwin on the outside. There are 12 taking part, and that's just about on the limit for a 1500 metre field, and you can expect a bit of bumping and barging. Peter Bork, the 800 metre champion of four years ago, who failed to find that form here this time. He was second, by the way, in this year's Australian 1500 metres championship. On through this red, we want some progress. Dale of Canada, Canadian. Here, where's one is Bork. Just got on the line here, announces, and then the bare feet. That looks like the Lesotho athlete, Paul Garley. Best time of 3.58. Only 18. So for him, a learning process. 5.67, the New Zealander is uh, Mike Gilchrist. Also a steeplechaser. 2.7, John Gladwin, who will be partnering with Steve Cram. Steve Cram taking his place on the inside. Next to him, Magali of Lesotho, the teenager. As we go along the line, Mike Gilchrist, New Zealand. Then Alistair Curry of Scotland. Tom Hanlon should be next, 668. 149, Dave Campbell of Canada. Then Hugoworth, his Canadian teammate, 170. Mamba Sasa, 532, Malawi. 758. In Thembu of Swaziland, Bork of Australia, Mark Kirk of Northern Ireland, and right on the outside, John Gladwin of England. Belgrave Harrier has had a lot of injury trouble, always shown enormous promise, and now that promise being confirmed. Twelve of them in this first semi-final of the 1500 metres, and Steve Cram immediately drops right out of trouble to the back with the young athlete from Lesotho. And uh, that young man will probably never be closer to see Steve Cram in his life. He lined up alongside him, and Steve Cram gently moving his way through. But his object here will be to keep clear of trouble. His object will also be con to be able to concentrate in this race because yesterday is high of winning the 800 metres. And then have to go to bed early, come back this morning and get all ready again and go through the motions here because really this is a relatively easy heat by uh, international standards. And Steve Cram really just needs to stay out of trouble and keep his concentration level up. John Gladwin, they'll be happy to get his racing underway. He's been sitting around all week watching the games go, go by and now he gets his chance to get in amongst it and just put, his, put himself in the right position at the right time and qualify in this heat, which he should do too. And I'm, I'm pleased to see the two young Scots in there amongst them because this is a good opportunity for those, those to get uh, international experience. Alistair Curry and Tom Hanlon, 63.4. They sometimes run 10 seconds faster than that in some of the races that Steve Cram and those guys run in Oslo and places. So it's a different kind of experience, this. The leader, Dave Campbell, uh, the Canadian champion. Second place is Kirk of Northern Ireland. Third, John Gladwin. Fourth, Hugo Worth of Canada. Five, Burke of Australia. 
uh, six Curry of uh, Scotland, seven Gilchrist of New Zealand, and in eighth place, Steve Cram. 668, the uh, young Scot, only 19, Tom Hanlon, better known, of course, as a steeplechaser. Well, this is all useful experience. Two laps to go. Campbell leads for Canada. Gladwin in second place. Kirk is third. Hugelworth four. Curry in fifth place. Still crammed back about eighth. John Gladwin moving up on the outside there. I, think, I, don't think you'll, I don't think you'll wait too long um, because I think he'd like to get in amongst it and get, get racing. But 2.7 for two laps. So they didn't, next, they didn't speed up very much. So it's going to be an awful race over the last 600 metres. And the, the point now is to get yourself in the right position when the attack starts, because if you don't, you can get into all kinds of trouble, end up people in front of you when the burst is gone. So Cram, as usual, on the outside, just behind Peter Burke, the former 800 meter champion whose Cram took his crown yesterday. But he's not been in good form over 800 meters, and I just wonder if Peter Burke can do something in the 1500 meters. I think, actually, he did move up and make the step up really in the Australian Championships this year, in which he finished second. Well, the scramble is on now, and it's Gilchrist coming from the back. Uh, Gilchrist, New Zealand hits the front. Campbell second, then Gladwin goes second. Curry of Scotland in fourth place. Kirk of Ireland fifth. Cl Cram back still in eighth place behind Hugelworth and Burke. But Clam Cram can improve so quickly. Watch him go down this back straight. He did it in the final yesterday, and just look at him now moving through. Gilchrist leads. Gladwin in second place. Campbell is third. Cram wide on the outside, so relaxed believing he's got the race under control, and who's to argue? The first four sure to go through, and look at Cram once more, just uh, kicks in on a bit of power, lengthens his stride, joins Gladwin in front, and second place still, and third place rather, still Alistair Curry, and coming through on the near side, Burke finishing very quickly, and it's England one through Cram, Gladwin in second place, Burke third, and Campbell and the Scott and a photograph uh, for the next place. Well, it was very, very close indeed for that final place with Curry and Campbell. The time, 3.43 for Cram. Didn't want a hard one, and he ran 52 seconds for the last lap. Alistair Curry of Scotland, member of the Dumbarton Club. And he's at Loughborough, he's only 21. I thought last year he was showing a lot of promise. He's perhaps not developed this season quite as much as he might have done, but having said that, he's probably heavily engaged in studies. He may have been run out of it by Dave Campbell. It was very, very close for fourth place. Book comes up very late on the outside, and as we suggested, he has made the move up, really, I think, uh, in every sense, from 800 to 1500. Gladwin... Uh, Looking quite uh, happy in second place and letting the master go. So Cram goes across the line. Gladwin, and oh, didn't stop the slow motion there for the fourth place. So we're not absolutely sure which one qualified. It was very, very close, and it does affect Alistair Curry of Scotland uh, with Dave Campbell of Canada. And it's between the two of them for the fourth place. Let's have a look. And where's, there's Burke going through in third place, and the photograph is for fourth place, and the Canadian may have got it, but of course they're both masked by Burke. So it's not uh, an easy one to pick out, but first impression is that uh, possibly Campbell got in front of Curry, but uh, they'll have a photograph of that from the other side, so they won't have any problems in sorting it out, that is. 